European markets are lower as Geithner warns against draconian austerity. U.S. futures on the decline as markets are extended for most major moving averages. Eyes will also be on earnings from Oracle and Tiffany. I'm Brittany Umar and the morning call starts right now. Good morning. I'm Scott Rudd, the Chief Strategic Officer of T3Live.com. And I'm Brittany Umar with The Street, and together we bring you Morning Call Express. So, Scott, first, the S&P, we did see extend its rally yesterday. Markets did extend their rally across the board. We did see that markets were on a tear. Futures are down this morning. So is what we're seeing some digestion today, or is it normal? I think it's both. I think it's digestion and normal because the indices have come very far. We're extended well past the 10 day moving average, the 20 day moving average. Yesterday we had the Apple event. Everyone thought that they could just sell it. They thought that was going to be the event that caused the mini top in the market. Yes, could we have a short term top? But I don't think this is the top of the year. If you look real quickly at Apple, everyone tried to sell this. Everyone tried to say this is it. But you know what? It held in, took it in stride. Here is your short term box to play it against. Um, yesterday's high is 601.77. It gets above that if it could extend. But at this point, it's extended from both of these moving averages. So this can even digest. And if you go to the spiders, it's been such a nice methodical move. Here is that gradual trend that started in October that we somewhat retested about two weeks ago and held in very well. Then you had a nice breakout move above these highs here. Okay, and then now we've been just going slow and steady in a methodical way. So at this point, I think the bulls are a tiny bit spoiled. So if they want to shake it up a little bit, rightly so, let it happen. So if you take a closer look here, we start getting below just say 140 on the spiders. There's no reason why we can't test this 139.50 and then even get down to this 10 day moving average, which is around 138.45. So if you have a cute short on, I would say cover into this area and then look to see if you could buy this dip because a lot of dips will be viable. All right, and based on what we're seeing so far, where's your focus today? Uh, my focus is to see how the sector rotation continues. We've had a really strong move in the banks. We've talked about it last week. It was our viable strategy. Sperling had a great play buying the banks on Fed Day. I was with them as well, but they got very extended. Five up days in a row after a monthly move that started in December. So yesterday, for the first time, I shorted some of the group. I did it with the FAS, which is an ETF that shorts the banks. So if you look here on the FAS, what I did here is I shorted yesterday and I blogged about it around 112. I think I can get a cute little short to about 105. So I'm not looking for much. And then if it pulls back, this is the 10 days. Some people will stay short and they might even hold it all the way to this area. I will be covered well before then because I want to buy a dip. The FAZ also is short the banks. So I have both of these right now. You look at this move from all the way up here around 55 to the low. I bought it like 2035 yesterday and I think I can get 21 and a half to 22. So what I did is I shorted the group. I'm going to cover hopefully into some weakness and then I'm going to look to buy the best banks out there. Okay, so speaking of the best banks out there, JP Morgan has of course been a leader in this sector. So what's your plan with that stock? Well, with this one, I sold a little early, so now I want to buy it back. And lately, JP Morgan's been holding the 10-day moving average, which it's far from, it's extended from. So if you can get to that 10-day moving average, I think that's where if you sold some of the excitement, you could buy the dip. So if you look here at JP Morgan, you will see that the 10-day moving average comes in right around, uh, this is just say, um, 42.25 and that's a long way down from 45. I don't know if it actually gets there so I think you know watch this little pivot here this pivot here is around 43 so from about 42.50 to 43 if you can get that area you buy a tier one if you sold into this strength and there is a small chance that if the retracement is a little bit deeper than I would think you could test this 41.55 area because you know that's a 20 day moving average. Now Bank of America was on pace for its fifth straight rally yesterday. We saw the stock retreat of course after the company denied it has plans to issue shares. So what do you think with Bank of America? <laughs> I just think it had a five day strong move. And the funny thing is they had to come out with a secondary rumor or blame it on that. But if you look at the chart real quickly here, look at this reversal. First things first, this is your Bible pattern above 825. Yesterday it pushed through and failed the red dog reversal. This was your spot to sell some. I do think with a pullback, you could buy it. The 10 day right there is 876. Okay, and real quick, high beta tech. Of course, you talked about buying Netflix on Friday. You added to your position yesterday. What's your plan with Netflix going forward? I think Netflix can get uh, 150. I would say it's like what 117 to 120. I bought it yesterday through 112. Trade around it. I think it could go negative to positive today through yesterday's high. That'll be a focus today. All right. Well, we're going to dive into all this and more in the long version. So stay with us. Hi, 
I'm Sean Hendelman, CEO of T3 Live, where we train, coach, and mentor traders in order to help you put your money to work with confidence. The T3 Live approach is a blueprint for you to recognize, adapt, and ultimately take advantage of different market conditions. To begin your training with T3 Live, we would like to offer you the opportunity to enroll in our free 30-day online home study course. Fill in your name and email address, and I'll see you on the other side.